Hello, I'm Daniel, the founder and CEO of NFT Bank. I'm glad to present our work here in MetaSoul 2021. Today in this presentation, I will talk a little bit about how we value NFTs. Um, given the limited time, I will briefly scratch the surface, but our team will shortly publish a blog post about how our valuation model works in detail. Before jumping into the valuation model, let me introduce NFT Bank first. We make NFT portfolio management smart. We aggregate all of your NFT transactions into one place to have a comprehensive view on your portfolio. Not only that, we provide fundamental indicators and valuation model to give you a clear picture about NFTs you are hodling. Back in 2019, we built a price calculator for my crypto heroes called MCH Scouter. It was a simple Chrome extension that shows the MCH listings in real time with the optimum price range predicted by our algorithm. For example, once you click reload, it will automatically fetches all of the listings in the market and shows you the current price, optimal price range predicted by our algorithm and our opinion about the price. Once you click the detail button, you can see the price trend and our prediction about the price. You can also see the utility and scarcity and the price trend. Um, I just made it for fun back then, but building this calculator, I was able to talk to a lot of users and learn about their pain point. And the every, I learned that every pain point boiled down to the difficulty in price discovery. Uh, this is still true, even though the NFT space has grown to the billion dollar market. Why is price discovery so hard for NFTs? If we ponder a bit, we can easily can see that NFTs are quite illiquid assets in a nutshell. If I have to compare, they have a similar nature to bonds and real estate in the traditional financial market. They're not traded very often, frequently, so there are not many historical sales records. Most of NFTs have been sold only once or twice so far. That means it's hard to find comparable cases to come up with the right, like come up with price rationale. As a consequence, price discovery gets harder. And since there's no price reference, sellers just want to sell their NFTs at the highest price. And then buyers want to buy NFTs at the lowest price. And because of the gap, it takes a long time to sell NFTs and the probability of selling, selling it is quite low. So sale, sale to list ratio, which stands for the, what percentage of NFTs are successfully sold when they are listed in the market is often very low. It's below 10%. That again reinforces the, the illiquid problem in NFTs. So the obvious question is, how does the NFT bank tackle this problem? In short, uh, we take several thousand features into account when we build our valuation model. We roughly segment those features into different categories. One is metadata, uh, which is the detailed attributes of NFTs. Of course, the metadata uh, is very important. And utility, uh, we measure smart contract activities to come up to, to obtain the uh, proxy features to come up with utility. And community and social factors definitely play an important role in valuation. And and overall macro crypto market trend affects the price a lot. Um, and sen sentimental factors 
also come into play. So how to get good valuation estimates? Uh, first of all, a comprehensive and in-depth quality data is always the key. And then the unique insights extracted from data make a huge difference. And the reasonable model selection is always important at the end of the day. All of these work, um, all of these have to work together to get fantastic results at the end. In terms of quality data, uh, building portfolio management platform, our team inevitably built a very robust and comprehensive data lake and pipelines for NFT data. And we also have fine grained wallet profiles. Also, we get uh, labels generated by our users in NFT bank, which help us to tune our model further. In terms of deep insights, our data science team spends most of our time to extract as many insights as possible from the data and come up with little indicators, um, the important correlation between the factors and engineer thousands of features that are highly predictive. Uh, we'll talk more about the specific features that we use and how we extract those features and what are the relationship between those features in our later blog post. In terms of modeling, uh, we took several different approaches from uh, various angles. Uh, in the end, what works the best, what works best for us is a model based on hierarchical Bayesian model and Bayesian net. Uh, the reason why we ended up choosing this methodology is that since there is a huge data sparsity problem in this domain, the, the pulling effect enforced by the, the multi-level model makes a lot of sense. Uh, besides, it shows the uncertainty in our prediction, which helps us intervene the model at the right timing uh, before you know, sp spitting out wrong or unstable predictions. To measure the success of our, of our model, we use MAPE, which stands for the median absolute percentage error. Uh, simply speaking, uh, it is a median error rate. So for example, if MAPE is 10%, this means that half the time our model can be off by 10% at most. This metric is often used in many real world, world prediction scenarios. Even Zillow and Redfin use this metric for their um, valuation model for real estate. Finally, this is our backtesting results. So we held out some portion of data as if they didn't exist, and then predict those held out data points. We roll out the prediction several times to come up with the errors. So you can see that the valuation estimates are pretty accurate. The first figure shows the backtesting results for X infinity, and second one is for uh, League of Kingdoms, and third one is for the sandbox. Right, so you can see three different heat, heat maps here. Uh, one is for a sandbox, and Decentraland, and X infinity. Uh, we can see that we can see the big picture of how expensive the lands are and certain areas are more expensive than others this can definitely help you make an informed decision when buying and selling your nfts all right finally demo if you come to nft bank you can search any specific nft uh, you want to look for. Besides, you can see the deal of the day. Um, this is a list of NFTs that are underpriced based on our prediction. So you can see that every NFT has different, different price tag. So you can see in 
if term. All right. So I showed uh, several use cases. So the first uh, obvious use case can be uh, building something like coin market cap for NFTs. So if you visit NFT bank via mobile browser, you can see the real time balance and weekly changes of your NFTs in dollar term. Also, you can easily search specific NFTs using NFT price search feature. And third, as I already showed you, you can easily find NFT listings that are underpriced in real time and get opportunity to buy cheap. Um, and then I'm happy to announce that NFT bank estimate is now available for everyone. So visit NFT bank and learn more about NFT bank estimate and build awesome things. And what's next for NFT Bank? We'll soon roll out NFT Bank version 2. We will offer a group portfolio and treasury management feature with built-in bold valuation for NFT DAOs. So yeah, please stay tuned. We'll announce, we will make big announcement uh, in near future. Right, so if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we are more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you.